The Demon Slayer story is one of the many reasons why I like the anime so much aside from the crispy animations that they have. And the way that they capture Tanjiro's journey to find a cure for Nezuko makes me get even more immersed in the show. The story bosses really set the tone in high climactic moments, which is why I'm making this video. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Curl back with a brand new video. And this is my story, boss battles, predictions, video. Let's get it right into it. Come on baby, you know that. So before we actually get this video started, I just want to say I haven't read the manga yet as of me uploading this video. So if I leave out some bosses that's from the manga, please forgive me. I haven't read the manga yet. I just watched the anime. So I just want to let you guys know before we, you know, actually get into it. This one isn't particularly a boss battle, but I feel like once you first start up the Demon Slayer story, the beginning cutscene is going to be with Nezuko and, you know, because she's going to be trying to attack you because she just turned into a demon. And I feel like they're going to teach you how to actually play the game, how to move around, etc. As far as the first boss battle, I feel like Sabito would be the beginner boss battle. This is like one of the first iconic moments that Demon Slayer had. And season one i feel like the creators of the game they feel like this will be a good time where you got acquainted with them controls you kind of like getting a use for it but they still gonna kind of keep it easy around this time because like i said they're gonna teach you all the basic controls how to move around and stuff um on the nezuko scene but before we move on to the next boss battle i just want to say like cc2 if you're watching this video i would love to see quick time events in this game you guys did it in naruto to ninja storm 4 and for all that matter the storm series i feel like it, that would just be immaculate because it just makes me feel like i'm more immersed into the game and it feels like i'm actually playing as that character like you know what i'm saying going through the struggles and you know the adversity and shit like that as far as the second boss battle we have the hand demon um the demon that tanjiro was fighting in the tournament around this arc um i would like to see us you know be able to roam around and fight the other weaker demons leading up to the hand demon so that way we can get more immersed in a story and we you know makes us feel like we really there i know the naruto ultimate ninja storm series where like sasuke he was fighting the shinobi in the fight kage summit so i feel like something like that taking that same concept would definitely pack a punch if um they were to add this in the game the next boss battle that i have on my list is the swamp demon that boss battle would be a good one to add in the game as well and plus i'm pretty sure we can get some cool animations when he was underwater in the anime and stuff like that they could really go crazy in that and I'm, I'm not gonna lie nezuko was getting the boy the hands like that man she she punched that man in the stomach so hard they gotta go crazy on that animation in the game when the game comes out i just i gotta see that i'm just trying to <laughs> i'm just trying to see nezuko punch that man in his jizz you, you you feel me you know what i'm saying she keep that energy she keep that she, you know what i'm saying hey Another boss battle that I would like to see in Demon Slayer Hinokami Captain is Susumaru and Yahaba. Man, this animation, like, on this scene is just so cold with the volleyball sauce. Man, I feel like that would be a really good one to put in the game as well. The next boss battle I have on my list is actually Inosuke. And the reason why I say Inosuke is because you remember when he was trying to, like, hurt Nezuko and Nezuko was in the box and Zenetsu was actually potentially protecting her Tanjiro actually got really mad at this and they you know started a fight they started having like a spar session and he was just trying to pretend like he was the boss you know he, he was trying to make prove to Tanjiro that he better than him like not better but more so stronger than him um in fighting and stuff so I feel like that would be definitely a good boss battle to put in the game as well furthermore Kayoga the drum demon it's like around the same time, you know, Inosuke and Tanjiro was fighting. After that, they went, you know, in that building to, you know what I'm saying, go square up with um, Kyoga. So I feel like that would be a good one in the game as well. And he's going to be changing the rooms around a lot, you know what I'm saying. Being on the, you know, his chest. I am not talking eight. 
<laughs> well, let me stop playing. Let me stop playing. But hey, you you, you, get, you get what I'm saying with this. You know what I'm saying? Hey. The next one I have on my list is the Spider Demon Mother. Tanjiro was out there fighting in the forest and stuff. Um, he encountered the Spider Demon. And I feel like, like I said, what I said earlier with the Hand Demon, they need to let us roam around because keep in mind she can like control minions and stuff like the different people under her under her um what is it um under her spider webs like she can control them with her spider webs like almost like okay so you know how in storm 4 they got like the puppet masters and they got like the chakra strings it's kind of like that what she can do we should be able to fight the characters that she like throwing at us leading up to the high climactic moments and stuff so i feel like that'd be dope as hell and that same goes with the spider demon zenetsu versus the spider demon sign same goes for him uh, let us fight the little spiders and stuff leading up to the uh, high climax and moment you know what i'm saying we slice and dice the boy yes sir now <laughs> the last one that i have on my list but certainly not least as far as the anime goes guys i haven't watched the manga yet i, I said watch i mean read the manga yet so i'm gonna read the manga soon because i really like demon slayer but rule is going to be in Demon Slayer, he ain't no Kami Captain, man. I watch, mock my words. I'm trying to tell y'all, like, this fight is just so sauce. My guy Tanjiro gets the fire breathing style, and it's just like, oh, I, I, I need that animation, bro. Like, like I just remember watching it, and I was just getting so much emotions, bro. It's just in my body i just i ain't know how to feel it's like i wanted to cry i wanted him to beat that nigga ass <laughs> and all at the same time bro like i just ah uh, man like but um that's actually gonna do it for um today's video guys you guys let me know what story boss battles do you want to see in demon slayer you know kabi Kambiton? um i don't mind if you say the um the character names that you know they're from the manga just try not to spoil anything or what they do and stuff because i actually want to read it for myself one more question before we get out of here guys what is your favorite boss in demon slayer let me know down below in the comment section i'm not even gonna lie um for me it has to be real um that that, that man he yeah he 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 go crazy but uh i know some of you guys are probably like man just wait till you read the manga bro wait till you i'm already know I, 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 okay okay i know you on my head right now i can't hear you but i hear you <laughs> i felt that you know what i'm saying i, I I'm, I'm gonna get on top of it man like you know what i'm saying hey with all that being said i'm gonna catch you guys in my next video make sure to subscribe like and turn on post notifications because i will be covering this game news gameplay and discussions.